You see, uh, some of the uh, the companions that asked the Messenger of Allah uh, we have some meat that has come to us from Ahl Kitab. We don't know if it's halal or if it's haram. So he said to them, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Kulu, Sammu Billah, Antum wa Kulu. You say the name of Allah and you eat. Now, what that basically means is, as Ibn Hajar explains, is that you go with what is likely. Ahl Kitab at that time were going to slaughter with the name of Allah over it. So the Prophet Sallallahu is saying here, go with what is likely. If you think that it's likely that this meat is halal, but you're not 100% sure, say the name of Allah, you yourself, and then you are absolved from any kind of blame, and you are from those people who are eating and drinking by the name of Allah and being thankful to Him. So what it means is you you act on what you think is likely. Now, is there only one monitoring board which is halal in the UK? The answer is no. Uh, there are many which will produce halal meat. The issue between HMC and these other groups is that HMC have a zero stunning policy, whereas others they stun but not stun to kill. Now, not stunning to kill puts an element of doubt into the meat, and this seems to be the correct view. And this is why I personally side with HMC. Because when you stun an animal, you don't know what tolerance level that animal has to the stunning. And the animal will still show signs of life after it has been stunned. So when you make the dhabiha of it, you think that the animal is still alive, but it might not necessarily be alive. Even if we take this argument aside, the Prophet ﷺ told us, in Allah kataba ihsan fi kulli shay. Allah has told us to be muhsin and good in everything that we do. If you are going to make the biha of an animal, then do it in the best possible manner. Therefore, if you don't do it in the best possible manner, which is shown in the sunnah, it becomes an action which is seen as oppression and sinful. So with that, the ulama have even said that even if the meat is halal in its end product, you shouldn't still eat it because of the fact that it's gone through a process of sinning. Uh, and the animal has been taken as a target. The Prophet sunnah forbade that also. Etc. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the meat is haram. So now what this basically, what I'm trying to say to you from all of this, is that if a person provides you a meal, and it's not HMC, and he's of the view that it doesn't have to be HMC, HFA might be halal, or any of these other groups, they might be halal, then you have to do what you think is best and stay away from that meat. But if you happen to have eaten from it and said Bismillah, and you've said Alhamdulillah after it, and then it comes to your attention that it might not have been HMC, or it might not have been this or that, then there is no sin on you on that. There is no sin on you on that, because of the fact that you have done and acted upon what you think is likely, and you've said the name of Allah over it, uh, and inshallah there is no blame. There is blame if you are negligent, but you have not been negligent in this case. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us purify ourselves and to make whatever we consume and whatever we allow to enter our bodies and our homes to be halal. Uh, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.